Hey guys, Dr. Rob here today. I want to welcome you to another one of my whiteboard sessions where we are going to talk about the seven, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven reasons why your stool might float. So the first reason is pancreatitis. So pancreatitis is an inflammation in the pancreas that occurs typically from consuming too much alcohol. And there's some symptoms that occur with that, which is going to be back pain, abdominal bloating, stomach pain, and of course, floating stools. The second one are going to be gallstones or gallbladder stones um, that get lodged in the bile duct or a condition called sclerosing cholangitis, which is when scars start to form in the, in the bile ducts. And um, that interferes with the ability of the gallbladder to get bile into the small intestines. And you need bile to digest your fat. If you don't have bile, you're not going to be able to digest your fat. Bile is kind of like soap. It like mixes up with the grease and gets the grease away, right? That's what bile does for fat that you eat. Now, some symptoms that you're going to have when you have either one of those two conditions are going to be what's called right upper quadrant pain, which is pain right here up under your right rib page, cage, pain in your right shoulder, pain in the right side of your back, fever, abdominal bloating, nauseousness, inability to eat, loss of appetite type of stuff, as well as diarrhea or very loose stools. The third one is an inability of the pancreas to make its digestive enzyme lipase. Now lipase is the enzyme that you use to break down fats. When the pancreas is in a state of insufficiency and can't release enough enzymes, this is easily tested for through a stool study and you check for the marker called elastase one. Very easy to check for. So of course that's gonna produce floating stools when you can't digest your fats because your pancreas is not making enough lipase. The other thing that's gonna do though, it's gonna make your stool very smelly. So your stool gets very smelly, uh, it looks greasy when you have a bowel movement and if the stool hits the side of the toilet bowl, it will actually stick to the side of the toilet bowl and it's hard to get that stool off. The fourth reason why your stool might float is gonna be liver disease. So your liver makes the bile, puts it in your gallbladder, your gallbladder ejects it out. We talked previously about problems with the gallbladder, but you can actually have problems with the liver where it's not able to produce enough bile. Very easy to check simply by just checking your urobilogen levels, your bilirubin, um, as well as taking a look at your liver enzymes. Number five is gonna be candida overgrowth in the large bowel. Now the reason why this is a problem is when you have too much candida, they start to ferment your carbohydrates. And that's a problem because when you ferment something, it forms gas. And that gas will literally get into the stool, like actually get trapped in the stool. And when you have a bowel movement, it will make it float. Some really easy ways to check yourself for candida is, is your tongue white? So if you stick your tongue out and you have a white coating, that could be an indication. The second one would be if you wanted to do a candida test, you take a spit in the morning into a glass of water. And if it kind of floats, but then makes these tentacles, that can be an indication of candida. There's also other symptoms like brain fog, fatigue, intestinal bloating, lethargy, floating stools, depression, anxiety, and other emotional disturbances that can be associated with candidiasis or candida overgrowth. Number six is other intestinal infections like H. pylori infection, which is a bacteria, spiral shaped bacteria that screws into the lining of the stomach and interferes with your ability to break down your food. The other ones would be like parasitic infections like Giardia and other types of mold infections. The reason why these infection, infections cause a problem is they stop your body's ability from breaking down your fats. When, it, when they do that, they actually form a very rancid smell to your, to your stool. So your stool becomes very, very strong, a lot of odor to it. Um, and you could just tell something is clearly not right. There's usually a lot of gas associated with it, a lot of abdominal bloating, and there can be changes in your bowel habits, in your bowel habits from uh, loose stools to constipation, like IBS type symptoms. There could also be stomach bloating, heartburn, indigestion, uh, stomach pain, especially up here, kind of in the left side of the rib cage, left upper rib cage, or even in the middle of the chest. And the last one, number seven, is simply you're eating too many carbohydrates. If you're eating too much sugar, sugar tends to ferment in the bowel. And of course, like we talked about before with candida, when you ferment sugar and carbohydrates, it forms gas and the gas makes the stool float. So those are the seven kind of common reasons why people will have floating stools. And I know some of you guys are poop checkers and you're looking in the bowl to see if what you ate last night was digested, if the food stool's floating or if it's sinking to the bottom. Um, regardless, it's good for you to have this information. And if you felt like it was valuable, please go ahead, share it with someone. 
And if you have a health or weight problem and you wanted to get some help, please, I'm gonna put a link right down here to my free online weight loss and health evaluation. That's a great tool that helps us get a little more understanding of what the potential cause to your health or weight concern might be. From there, we give you a free consultation with either our naturopath or a certified health coach to explain more as to how we can help. And I would love to help you. I've been doing this for 21 years. We've worked with over 15,000 patients and clients from 43 other US states and 23 countries. So come and see me if you need some help. No distance is too far. I've put in great systems to take care of you, whether you're close or far away. So I hope you enjoyed the information again, and I'll catch you at the next whiteboard session. Thank you very much for your time today. Thanks for being here. See ya. And uh, we're even gonna give you a free consultation with this lady, the naturopath, or this lady over here, Tanika, our certified health coach. So you're gonna get a free consultation to talk with either this lady over here or this lady over here, who are two absolute amazing human beings, and they're gonna give you something for free that really is easy at 50 to $100 value. So if there's a health problem or weight problem that you have, fill out that form, talk to one of these two, and let us help you at a price that's affordable for you. Okay, see you guys. Bye. Bye.